you welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to speak about social anxiety which what are the effects of social anxiety and what causes social anxiety and uh, how to overcome this so let me tell you i am not going to go into much detail into this problem of social anxiety disorder or social anxiety but i am going to cover the main points on what actually social anxiety is and what are the some of the tips that help you to overcome social anxiety Sometimes some of us will feel that they have some sweaty palms when they are about to uh, address a meeting or they want to uh, address a public gathering or something like that. At that time they feel that they, their palms sweat and sometimes they feel that they have to drink a lot of water, some sort of uh, irritations in their throat and sometimes they feel their heartbeat has become increased and then they, have, they might have some stomach problems or dizziness so you feel like lightheadedness or that you might have to go to the restroom or for such type of uh, feelings that you might have is just because of what I call it as a social anxiety. So this usually happens, the uh, reason is that you are the thought that you are being judged by some of the people around you. That actually happens when you are talking to the strangers you are afraid to make the eye contact with a stranger when you are talking to them and you are also afraid to make the public speaking. You don't actually have the confidence to speak uh, and expose yourself in the public. Uh, using the public restrooms, you might have a fear what other people might think about. Uh, then eating in, the, in front of other people and going to the parties. So I'm, I'm not saying that all these things should happen to you. It's okay that if, you, if it happens only just one thing. Sometimes uh, speaking in the public might interest you or speaking in the public you don't really have a problem at all but then um, going to the party and eating in front of other people might be a nightmare to you but to get rid of the social anxiety to at least to some extent change your perception to a society what I mean to say is that you have a notion in you or you think that the people whom you see around are busy in judging you which actually is not the case they really don't have the time to think about you they have their own problems. I have my problem, you have your problem. Similarly, they have their own problem. They really don't have the time to indulge or to think what you are doing. They really don't. So just change the perception of yourself to the society that the people are there to judge. Assume that the people like you. You don't have ever imagined that the people will look at you like you are an alien. It's actually, it's not the case. It is your perception. It's your way of thinking. that. You know that sometimes we as humans tend to uh, live in our head. We have unnecessary fear, unnecessary fear of something. Okay. In actual practice, 90% of the thing that you fear will happen will not happen at all. Only 10% might happen. So, but it will be the contrary if you are thinking in your head. So all the tensions, all the worries, guilt, all such type of feelings is that, that because you are living in your head. Come out of it. You are thinking is not the actual fact, the actual thing that is going to happen. What you fear it will happen, it will never happen at all. Have some con. Always have a positive thought in your mind. Spread the positive vibe to everyone you see around you. When you try to spread the positivity to the people who see who you see around, positivity, spreading positive vibes, you can see that many people will flock around you. They really love your company if you spread them the positive vibes. They want to hang around with you. They want to be with you. They want your company. You are the center of attraction. When I said that center of attraction, still many people are in the fear of if you are the center of attraction, what would the other people think about me? If it's their party, your birthday party, or your wedding anniversary, or anything, where you are the center of attraction. Never ever think that every people's eyes are on you. You should have that tactic to expose yourself. Think that, assume that all the people are your friends, all, everybody like you very much. Uh, that's the positivity that you have to, uh, you have to feed your brain with. But if you live in your head, then such type of feelings will never go away from your head. Assert uh, yourself a duty that if you, a short duty, for example, if you are going to a, a, a gathering in an auditorium where else, and you are meeting some of your friends, you are assign a job to yourself that you will do this. And so that means the positive aspect here is that you will get engaged, that you will do something. Unnecessary thoughts will not hinder your mind, it will not be a hindrance at all, so that you can draw, do that, you can finish your job to your utmost satisfaction. And the important thing is that when you come back to your house and then when you imagine about that uh, 
thing don't ever think that i should have done this i should have done praise yourself and you say that yes i have done an excellent job it really helps you to get prepared yourself for the next meeting or the next social gathering never ever uh, avoid any social gathering because you have this fear do you know that uh, if you have a fear how to overcome that fear is by practice doing it start or practice to start doing the thing that you fear the most do it first when you do it first you'll have the confidence that the next time you'll do it again this fear will vanish away like that i'm very confident that i can do it because you've already done it so this is a way where you can eradicate your fear and you can develop your social skill and you can be a more socially skilled person start to initiate a conversation don't ever think that what should i talk go talk to the stranger or go, go to talk to someone introduces their friend to you or someone introduces a new person to you yes sir how do you do or a house life what's going on what are you working to initiate a conversation try to build a rapport with the person you see who you see around have a practice of doing it to the people that you meet around so you don't actually have to face the fear anymore and because the fear should not be in your head at all